Welcome to another episode of Judge for a Soul. In the last Parliament, IFP MP Mario Ambrosini submitted a medical innovation bill in a bid to legalize cannabis for medical purposes. Dr. Ambrosini has been using cannabis oil to treat his terminal lung cancer. He believes that it has saved his life. This is a really important debate. If you'd like to join it, then on Twitter you can do so by using the hashtag JFYCannabis. To discuss this particular issue, we are joined by Dr. Ambrosini, the IFP MP who submitted the bill, Matthew Erickson from the South African National Cannabis Working Group, and Dr. Robert Papiti, a family doctor who has a particular interest in addiction. But let's give some context to our debate by starting with a clip from Mario Ambrosini when he submitted his medical innovation bill to Parliament. What this paperwork stands for is the proposition that there is no rational argument for continuing to deprive medical marijuana to people like me who need it. It is a crime against humanity not to allow that to take place. Welcome back. Can I ask you, I mean, just a short clip there. You're asking for legalization for medical purposes, yes. only for medical purposes. For medical pur purposes and commercial and industrial purposes. Just to explain that if you, for people well, who are perhaps not as well aware as you are of the problem. You know, in, in Afrikaans you call a shirt hemp. It's an incredible textile. Hemp is incredible capacity for, is a textile, is a building material, is a source of protein, is a food product. In Asia they are developing vast segments of industry on the commercial exploitation of cannabis. And all the studies indicate that South Africa will be perfectly suited in terms of climate and soil to take advantages of the industrial and commercial potential of cannabis. And for medical purposes, how would one, I haven't studied your bill as carefully as I should, so explain to me how we demarcate. Well, I want to clarify that my bill is not just about medical marijuana. It's about liberalizing a, a range of treatments uh, for terminal ill patients, yes. uh, especially in cancer, which are not available. But in, case, uh, in the case of marijuana, it's very simple. The, the oil, which is an extract of marijuana, it's easy to produce. One, one issues regulations enabling companies, uh, pharmaceutical companies to produce it, and then it's prescribed by doctors and dispensed by pharmacists uh, on the same basis uh, as any other medicine available. It's, it will be an additional medicine in the arsenal of doctors uh, uh, to be utilized there where it is appropriate. So, Dr. Pete, what's wrong with that? I know you're concerned about questions of addiction. But why should we not carve out an exception of that particular kind, which is what I think Dr. Ambrosini is suggesting to us? Actually, Dennis, I must make it clear that we as the doctors have no control about what is listed and what is legalized. I agree, with, uh, I've read about cannabis being used uh, uh, for health reasons, and there's very good reasons for it. It's not that the doctors are against it. I think doctors work by what is told to them. It should be treated like any other drug where it should be tested and uh, we should be aware of its side effects, its dosages and how it should be used. And I have no problem with that. And if you ask me, does the medical profession ever stand on it? No, because they don't know anything about cannabis. It's, it's been referred to in a pejorative manner simply because people associate it with its recreational use and its side effects. Right. What are you prepared to support the bill and what aren't you? Any, any medication, not necessarily uh, cannabis, any medication that will help humankind should not uh, be stopped. It should be allowed. So and then you should support it. I do. Oh, I, I see. You do. I do. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, got, yeah. I got confused. No, no, I thought no, you no, were. I think we need to clarify this because there is two sides to cannabis. There's, what, there's a chemical in cannabis, the wine hemp yeah. that is grown, which is psychoactive, and that's got a dangerous side effect to it. But the one that Dr. Ambrosioni is talking about is non-psychoactive. And that's it's, fine. That's one, but it has to be, you, you, in, in, in Colorado, they went crazy. It's not the doctors who, or the medical profession that are legalizing. It's the feds who come into it. They've allowed home uh, production of it, and that is dangerous. Yeah, we'll, come back, we'll come back to that in a moment. Yes. I 
feel like I really need to in interject right there. Um, I am no doctor, but what you are talking about, absolutely true, it's granted. Uh, CBD, the particular cannabinoid that you're talking about, does have enormous medical benefit. But I don't know if you've watched the CNN special with Sanjay Gupta. Every single cannabinoid that is ingested from cannabis works in tandem with the others. When you isolate them, you, you get different effects. But the notion that the psychoactive components of cannabis don't have a medicinal effect uh, is bunk. That's just not true. Uh, from the, uh, I work for the South African National Cannabis Working Group. And our guiding mission is, is that the law should be based on science. And on as what? such, the law should be based on science and evidence. Mm -hmm. We have an evidence-based so approach. So what is your position? Well, is your our position, position, our position is a little bit, it's a little bit more nuanced than that. What we, are, is it? We, we make room for a model whereby uh, there is such a thing as ca uh, medical cannabis because it does have to be researched. There is room for CBD. We're not suggesting that CBD shouldn't be uh, CBD only oils and specific extracts and products shouldn't be allowed. Um, what we're saying is that all of the compounds in, TA, in, in cannabis have a medical effect. And it's impossible to, to regulate recreational use. So our model basically makes room for a medical model whereby research takes place, doctors are able to prescribe, but at the same time we have to take cognizance of the fact that we're, legislature cannot stop people from smoking cannabis I'm going, to, I'm going to deal with that. We've got time. But I, 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 I want to come back to this particular point about the distinction between the two. But before that, I want to take a break. News that moves. ENCA.com.